Today we're looking at the Bellroy 2nd Edition card sleeve paired up with the Key Smart Tracker. Let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Bellroy 2nd Edition card sleeve and the Key Smart Tracker. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. There's a link to an unboxing video on the Bellroy if you want to check that out. Bellroy is a company from Australia and they make some really nice leather goods. So this is a nice combination of a slim leather wallet and card tracker with Find My Support. It'll hold two to eight cards. There are slots on both sides. Maybe use one for a frequently used card and the other for cash. I wouldn't put more than one card in either slot though. The inner pockets hold multiple cards and there's a leather pull tab to get the cards out and I do like this a lot. You don't have to really mess with trying to reach in and grab cards out and take them out with your fingers. You can just use the tab to pull them out. I just put up a video on the Ridge wallet and I do like that one quite a bit. You can essentially rebuild that wallet whereas this one you can't. Although this one is about half the price of a Ridge wallet, so maybe having a couple of these in different colors isn't as bad as having a couple of Ridge wallets in different colors. Also, this wallet does not have any kind of RFID blocking. Compared to a few other wallets I've talked about, Ridge, Trove, and Apple's wallet, this one has the biggest footprint, but in my opinion is the easiest to use. I've been using it for about a week now and it's really nice to carry in your front pocket. Now this is a channel about tech related things and a leather wallet with no RFID isn't exactly a tech product, but that's where this key smart tracker comes in. Let's talk about this key smart tracker for just a little bit. There are a few different brands of trackers like this out there that you can find on Amazon and other places. One nice feature on this key smart is that it has a cutout to use for something like a luggage tag. This is a really slim card design. If you happen to have a metal credit card, it's about the thickness of two metal credit cards or probably three regular plastic credit cards. I like to keep few cards in my wallet, my ID, an Amex, and a Visa or MasterCard. So three cards total and then adding this tracker is like adding two more cards for a total of five. The tracker itself is really easy to use. There's a flush power button on the front. You press it, it'll beep, and then you can open the Find My app. Tap the plus sign and add other device from the list. It'll pick up the tracker and then you can name it and assign an icon for it. Simple as that. The tracker is rechargeable with a wireless charger. I've got a Belkin MagSafe charger on my desk and it's kind of fun because I can fling the card onto it. It sticks and charges up, which is really nice. And when you look at a tracker like this, you get the idea of how the Apple wallet has find my support without the need to replace the battery. The wallet is probably recharging every time you attach it to the back of your phone. Overall, this tracker works really well and it's a great way to get Find My Tech into a more traditional wallet. The Ridge wallet does have the ability to add an AirTag to it with some hardware and that's a nice add-on. In my other video, I talked about the ability to rebuild the Ridge wallet and I still think it's a great product. If you don't want to add the bulk of an AirTag, adding a tracker like this keeps the slim profile of the Ridge. As always, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Are you using AirTags now? Would you try a card size tracker if it had Find My Support with it? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear from all of you. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.